Thank you very much Follow to all the distinguished participants of uh, this high level climate vulnerable forum today. Before I introduce the speaker of the Philippine House of Representatives, let me share with you that our Department of Energy's recent announcement on the moratorium on new coal sends a decisive signal to domestic and foreign investors financing renewable energy. The House Committee on Climate Change, under my leadership, is in full support of this promotion of sustainable and renewable energy. In fact, the House Resolution on Environmental and Climate Emergency, calling on the major carbon emitters, local industries, and local government units to pursue renewable and sustainable energy sources was adopted by the House of Representatives today at 7.02 p.m. This is the first climate emergency declaration that is national in scope in the country. Our next speaker is the youngest to have been elected as Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Philippines since the country became a republic. A lawyer by profession, he has also served in the other two branches of government, in the judiciary as a lawyer, in the Supreme Court, and in the executive branch as provincial administrator of the province of Marinduque. As legislator, he has always been a leading advocate of environmental protection and sustainability, and has consistently pushed for sustainable and adequate energy for Filipinos and effective and good governance. He has also been fighting for disaster management and climate change mitigation and has proposed the establishment of a Department of Disaster Resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow parliamentarians, the Honorable Speaker of the Republic of the Philippines, Lord Alan J. Hugh Velasco. <laughs> 